Tonight, the search for a missing man in Grant County is over. Ronald Henry's body was found Sunday, but as War Jollis reports, the grieving process and investigation into his death are just beginning. Well, the discovery of Ronald Henry's body comes three months to the day from when he went missing from a rural farmhouse in Grant County. And while the Platteville community is coming together to remember him with a vigil, there are still many unanswered questions about what led to his death. To give us the strength that we need to make it through this very tough, tragic time, God. In downtown Platteville, community members gather to remember and pay their respects to Ronald Henry, the man who suddenly disappeared in the early hours of December 5th. His body found on Sunday. Ronald belonged to Platteville, and Platteville is grieving him. And so I felt that we needed to get together, say some good things about him. Those close to Henry remembering his impact. He was a character for sure. He was life of the party, for sure. Life of the party. He always made sure everybody was happy. He was, he was the positive energy around. According to authorities and family, a 14-year-old boy found Henry's body Sunday in some woods about a mile south of the farmhouse where Henry was staying before he went missing. The Grand County Sheriff says it was just outside of their extensive 2,800-acre search area. He says they found a phone near Henry's body. It will be analyzed this week along with other evidence. The discovery brings some answers to Henry's family and loved ones, but with a cause of death still pending and no clear explanation as to how Henry ended up here, still many unanswered questions. I want to know why. Like, his smile was just so contagious to everybody. Like, even if you're having a bad day, you could look at him and he'd smile. He didn't deserve any of this. And hopefully by the end of this week, we'll have a clearer picture of what exactly happened to Ronald Henry the night that he went missing. But for now, we're waiting on the results of an autopsy by the medical examiner's office. We expect those results to come by the end of this week. In Grant County, Warjalis, 27 News.